and divisions understanding the concept of division balloon seller having 10 balloons and he give equal number of balloons to each of five children present at the party 10 balloons shared equally by five children that is two balloons for each child the statement 10 divided by 5 equals to 2 is called a division fact equal grouping suppose children you have 18 cakes and want to make six equal groups the divisions fact of this problem is total number of cakes divided by number of groups equals to numbers of cake in each group how many cakes are there 18 cakes how many groups have made think table of 6 and how many 6 are there in 18 very good there are 3 sixes in 18 so 3 is number of cakes in each plate we can write the division fact in another way also it show total number of cakes it shows number of cakes in one group think the table of 3 and find how many 3s are there in 18 correct this show the number of groups arrange in another we get 12 is called dividend 4 is called divisor 3 is called quotient divisions as repeated subtraction a lady made eight sandwiches for a picnic she started to wrap them in packages of two how many packages did she wrap first she wrapped two leaving six not wrapped then she wrapped two more leaving four not wrapped then she wrapped two more leaving two not wrapped then she wrapped last two leaving no sandwiches unwrapped this is the division fact of the problem total number of sandwiches number of sandwiches in each group numbers of group thinking the table 2 and find how many twos are there in 8 correct There are four twos in eight, so there are total four groups or packages. Actually, the lady made these packages in a repeated subtraction way. Divisions is a short way of subtracting the same number several times. Using a number line, skip count backwards by three until you reach zero. For that. you need four skip counts so division fact of this problem is this shows the another way of repeated subtraction relation between multiplication and divisions to find the total number of stamps on the sheet we multiply number of rows multiplied by number of stamps in each row is equals to total number of stamps this is number of groups this is number of stamps in each group and we get total number of stamps this is total number of stamps this show number of rows or groups this shows number of stamps in each group from this we know that division is opposite of multiplication division 
we use multiplication table to divide. Think how many sevens in 42? Yes, it is 6 times. Division with remainder. Toffees jar having 19 toffees. If each boy is getting 4 toffees from jar, how many boys will get the toffees? First boy got 4 toffees and 15 toffees left in jar. Second boy also got 4 toffees and 11 left in jar. Now, third child also got 4 toffees and there left 7 toffees in jar. Fourth child also got 4 toffees from the jar. But now, only 3 toffees remainder in the jar. We can't able to distribute more now. So, as per division fact, 4 is quotient and R3 means 3 is the remainder in this problem. Let's divide properly. Think the table of 4. We know that 19 is not the part of table 4. So, we arrange less number than 19, that is 16. The quotient is 4, but we are only 16 subtracting from 19. After subtracting 16 from 19, we get 3 as remainder. So, we write the answer. Quotient is 4 and remainder is 3. To understand this topic, let's solve one more problem. Think the table of 7. 63 is bigger than 61. So, we take 8 times 7, that is 56. Subtracting 56 from 61, we get remainder as 5. Divisions by a one-digit number without remainder. Information box Divisions always start from greatest place digit. Think the table of 2. For 8, it's 4 times 2 is 8. So write 4 as quotient over 8 and subtract 8 from 8 is 0. Now drop the next digit that is 4 down. Now think that table 2 for 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So we write 2 as quotient for 4 and subtract 4 from 4 is 0. So our quotient 42 and remainder is 0. Information box when the remainder is 0, it is customary not to write R0. Always start division from greatest place digit, that is, thousandth place. Think table 3. Write 3 as quotient and subtract 9 from 9 and drop 6. 2 times 3 is 6. So write 2 and quotient, subtract 6 from 6 and next digit down. 0 comes in 3 table 0 times. We know that 1 times 3 is 3. So write 1 as quotient and subtract 3 from 3. So quotient of this problem is 3, 2, 0, 1. And obvious we will not write remainder, which is 0. Division by regrouping without remainder. Think the table of 4. We take 2 times 4. So write 2 as quotient and subtract 8 from 9. These we get 1 as remainder. And now we drop next digit and the total number now becomes 16. Think table of 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So write 4 as quotient 
and subtract 16 from 16. And answer is 24. First, divide 9 by 7. It's 1 times, so write 1 as quotient and subtract 7 from it. We get 2. Now, drop the next digit. Total, it becomes 23. So, divide 23 by 7. We take 3 times 7. So, write 3 as quotient and subtract 21 from 23. There we get 2 as remainder. Drop next digit. Total, it becomes 29. Divide 29 by 7. Since we know 4 line 7 is 28. So, we write 4 as quotient and subtract 28 from 29. Remainder we get 1. Drop next digit. Divide 14 by 7. Since 2 times 7 is 14 so. We write 2 as quotient and subtract 14 from 14. There we get 0 remainders. So, answer of this problem is 1, 3, 4, 2. Children, I hope you are understanding the steps of division. For division, you should learn table by heart. Division by regrouping with remainder. 29 is divide from 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Write 4 as quotient. And subtract 24 from 29. Drop next digit down. Divide 50 by 6. It's 8 times is 48. So write 8 as quotient and subtract 48 from 50. Drop next digit down. Divide 28 by 6. But we know 4 times 6 is 24 only. So, subtract 24 from 28. After subtracting 24 from 28, we get 4 as remainder and we write answer. Division by 10 and 100 We already know the relationship between multiplication and division. Now observe carefully. To divide a number ending in zeros by 10, remove one zero from right. Information box. To divide a number ending in zeros by 100, remove two zeros from right. 